What's up YouTube, back with another video. Today I wanna to preview a product that I recently bought a couple of weeks ago. I have not tried it yet, so I don't wanna do a review, but I just wanna do a preview, what it, preview of it and kinda of explain um, why I actually went with this. Uh, the actual item is the Evoc Hip Pack Pro 3. This retails for $120. I think I used a coupon and got it on sale for like 90 bucks. And uh, it is the more of the yellowish green colorway. Uh, I haven't seen anyone actually show this one online as of yet, but I have seen the other colors. This is a hydration hip pack, so it does come with a 1.5 liter bladder and the uh, hydration uh, tube as well. Uh, I'll go into the features of it in just a second, but first let me explain why I actually went with this pack. So I have tried the hydration packs, the Camelbacks, uh, High Sierras, um, even some other brands. I can't even think of Columbia. I've tried some of the backpack uh, hydration packs. Uh, even when I used to run, I used to use those for a while. But in every single one of those packs, there were a couple of issues. One, um, most of them always leaked. I don't know how, I could never find out where, but they almost always leaked and then uh, I have a broken collarbone right here from an old motorcycle accident and so riding or running with a backpack on my shoulders eventually starts to irritate that area and so backpacks don't really work out for me when it comes to mountain biking I've always used water cages and water bottles those have been you know pretty much a uh, fair game they've been great you know during the time that I've used them but there are times where I don't really like them. Number the one reason why I don't really like water bottles and water cages, water bottle cages is because of the um, the dirt that gets trapped and built up on it. Every single time I have a water bottle, there's dirt on the actual tip. So I have to actually you know pour a little water out, rinse it off, um, and clean it before I actually drink you know from it. But you know that happens almost every single time. If you guys aren't experiencing that, please tell me in the comments of how you're getting your water bottles to stay completely clean. Um, because the ones I have, it just never happens on a mountain bike trail. Dirt, dust, uh, mud, you know, something's going to get on that. It's pollen. Something's going to get on that at some point in time. So I went and decided to go a different route. And that is with the hip pack. Now, I'm not a big fan of any type of packs, to be honest with you, but if I'm looking at the other alternative options on having some type of hydration while riding and a little bit of storage, I don't think it can get better than actually having the hip pack and what this thing can do. Um, before I actually bought it, I looked at the reviews online. Everything seemed to be pretty, pretty cool with it. No real bad negative reviews, even on Amazon. There are some people that saying that it, it leaks, um, but there's a lot of people who saying they haven't had that problem. So I'm just gonna test it out over time and see for myself. Uh, it does, I uh, believe, come with a warranty. So I'm, I'm gonna see how this actually uh, plays out. But um, first, let me just kind of go over some things with you on it. Let me just adjust this camera. So this is the actual pack. Um, it has plenty of storage. You have two compartments here where if you wanted to actually Put some bottles, some suntan lotion. Um, I don't know what you may put in there. Uh, whether it's a bottle of water or whether it's a sport drink or whatever the case may be, you have these two storage areas on the side. Um, the Velcro in the front. You have another compartment for storage in here, and there are it's plenty of stuff in here. You have a zippered, more um, protective space in here where you can put something. I guess that's. You know really important that you don't want to get wet or dirty in there um it zips up there's also more storage right here this is more so where i would probably put my snacks and things of that nature in there and then in the little safe storage area i probably could put my phone in there but you have plenty of storage in the front area right there you also can zip this down should do that first sorry this is the section that i'm talking about right here uh, where you can zip and put things in here. This does protect from water and the elements, so that's pretty cool um, up front right there. And then, of course, you have your main storage in the middle section, and this holds more storage area in here, but it also holds the, the water 
uh, reservoir, the actual bladder itself. And so again, this is 1.5 liters, which is way definitely enough water for me if I were to take this out on the trail. Um, it does come with that. Now this particular pack, uh, it, you can buy it with the bladder or without the bladder. Without the bladder, I, I think the price is, I don't know, like 30 or $40 cheaper, but I would go ahead and get it with the bladder. Um, again, that's enough you know, water storage, uh, the 1.5 liter for myself. So that's actually in the center portion of the pack. But again, if you look in here, there's plenty of storage in this bag. I mean, anything from keys to, um, if you have a, a, a spare inner tube, um, you know, your, your uh, hex wrenches or any type of tools you may need, um, anything to fix a flat, uh, you know, CO2, CO2 cartridges or, you know, whatever the case, what, a rain jacket, whatever you have in here, you know, for emergencies or snacks or food or whatever the case, you have plenty of storage in this centerpiece right here. And then on the back, you have your actual cushion area, which this right here plays a big part in comfort. Uh, when I put this pack on, it already feels comfortable, even though I haven't ridden with it yet. Uh, I'm going to test it out and do more of an in-depth review of it. But for right now, again, this is just a preview. And then the cool part right here, you have even more storage on the sides. You have zippers to put you know, more things in there. This is probably where I put my keys. You have one on this side as well. Um, so yeah, it's, it's plenty of storage space. You even have this little hook connector thing right here as well in the inside. Another cool feature about the pack is you have the magnetic, um, where's it at? Right here on the hose, uh, on the, the water on nozzle, it actually attaches to the actual pack so it doesn't hang off or fall. Now I have read some reviews and saw some videos where people are saying that this actually falls off. I don't see how it's possible. This magnet seems super, super strong, but you know, if it does fall off, there is a way that you can actually fix that. And that's by using one of these, um, your little office chains that you put on your ID cards. You can attach that uh, to the bag and then just clip it on and off. Um, I'll probably show you how to do that on the next video when I do more of an in-depth review when I use it, but that is a solution if you're doing that, but I want to see if it even falls off at all. I just don't see how, you know, it, it just seems like it's super strong. Even when hitting bumps, this thing seems like it's going to stay. So I'm going to do a quick uh, stand up and try on for you just to see how this thing looks. It does have a Velcro stretchable uh, elastic band for your waist, which I think is really cool because no matter what size you are, I think this is going to be able to fit pretty much one size all anybody, unless you're like really, really slim, really, really skinny. I don't see how this won't fit. Um, I am six feet tall. I weigh about a hundred and I think I'm at one seventy five or one seventy seven pounds right now. Uh, my waist is about a thirty three. Uh, so, you know, I'm just, that's just kind of comparing, you know, my waist size, which is still very slim, but let's just do a test real quick. Okay. So of course, let's put this around the back and put the first belt around your waist. And then this just, you just pull this to where you think it would actually needs to be. You can adjust the uh, the actual clip-in piece in the front as well if you need to tighten it, which I will do. And then you have your hose with the magnetic connector, which goes here, snaps in place, and bam. This is pretty much it. Now again, it does look bulky in the back. It doesn't feel bulky at all. It feels very light. It doesn't even feel like I have something this big around my waist at the moment. It, it feels more so like I have, I guess like a regular fanny pack, like something small because it's so light. Of course, when you start putting stuff in here, it's not going to feel as light, but I still don't think it would feel that heavy while sitting on the bike. But even if it does, I'd rather have more weight here than I would on my shoulders or on my back, especially here in Florida in the summertime. That's just not an area where you just want a lot of heat. Uh, 
And so yeah, it's comfortable, that cushioning, I can already feel it, so I don't think that will be a discomfort, but again, I'll let you know about that once I actually test ride it. Um, this is how it looks on the back. I don't think that zipped that last piece in it. No, I didn't. So, um, so that's pretty much how it's going to look on the back. And again, you know, with the nozzle up here, it seems like it's enough length to actually drink and then be able to put that with no problem. So yeah, I'm, I'm actually excited to try it. Again, that way I don't have to be worried about water bottles anymore. I don't have to worry about water bottle cages. I don't have to worry about drinking off a dirty uh, nozzle. I don't have to worry about backpacks. I think this is going to be, hopefully, my uh, solution to those to those problems that I had. But time will tell. We will see. Uh, I will let you know in the next video how that ends up playing out. Before I go, I just wanted to say this as well. I had tried to record two videos on the chisel. One, uh, I went to Markham Woods not long ago, and uh, that's where I always test out my new bikes. And sure enough, they have a mountain bike race going on. And I didn't even know about it. I would have participated in that if I would have known about it because that's what that bike is for. And there was nothing on the park website. I could not find any information on this particular race. So I drove almost an hour and a half out there and couldn't even ride because of the park was closed due to the race. Then I tried to do another video. Uh, I went to uh, another bike trail and I got some footage and somehow the footage was corrupt and then I lost all the footage when I tried to edit it. So it's not working out with getting footage of me riding on that bike for whatever reason. It doesn't want me to record anything. So I will try again one more time. Maybe next weekend I'll take it for a ride on the trail, but it's getting frustrating trying to get to get footage. I might even need a new camera. I don't know if it's the memory card or what. So I apologize for that. I really am trying. I really am trying to get you guys uh, some footage and videos of that, but it's just not working out. But that's just the life of trying to record YouTube videos. Other than that, I hope everyone is doing well. We're almost in the summertime, so it's that time to hit the trails, get out there. You guys be safe, stay hydrated, and uh, I will check you on the next video. Peace.